Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the next cave. What I tell you about that boy, Quentin Grimes. Let's talk about it. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Knicks cave. 103 to 94, the Knicks pulled out the win. And I know Leon Rose, Scott Perry, and the rest of the New York management are feeling pretty good about their picks in this year's draft. With a man you quickly sitting out with a sore grind, Quentin Grimes and Malvin Bright took advantage of an opportunity and combined for 51 points. But this video was mainly about my boy, Quentin Grimes. Let's get deeper into it. Well, with, with the number 25th draft pick, he's definitely not a lottery pick. I guess the talk with Allen Houston and Penny Hardaway paid off because they told that dude, you know, you gotta you know, stay confident. You're making them, you're taking shots, but you're rushing them. So I guess he slowed down because he was looking like, well, I know y'all probably saw a video when I said that this could be our version of Clay Thompson. And he was looking like him. He was, <clears throat> excuse me, he was looking like him. So I really like the pick, you know what I'm saying? And the talk really paid off because can't, excuse me, because Grimes came out more aggressive. Not to say he wasn't aggressive in his last games, but how can I say he came out with a little more control and a little more bounce and his step with confidence. Instead of settling for the three, you know how he, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in the last couple of games, he would bounce around and try to take that side, side step and put up that three, rushing the shot. He started driving to the hoop, getting baskets, and if he didn't get a basket, he was getting a foul and he was getting the end one. I started seeing um, the whole aspect of his game, you know, like how people talk, like he didn't have a good time in Kansas. Like he was really playing subpar and when he was for Kansas, but when he made the switch to Houston, he took off and people started to act. Matter of fact, people would talk about this kid and being in the top five. So for him to fall all the way to us at the 25th, 25th pick, we got a steal. I mean, I still think he could be our version of Clay Thompson. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, he's, he has scored 28 points, 6 rebounds. Matter of fact, 5 of rebounds being on the defensive end, 1 in the offense, of course. Uh, 4 assists, 1 steal. He had 3 turnovers. That'll cut down because he won't be handling the ball that much. And he was, um, like I said, I don't always do that minus plus, you know, plus, but he was a plus 4. Not to mention, he shot 40% from the field. Going shooting eight for twenty. I, I know that sound bad. We got to the free throw line to make up some of that. But my man shot forty-two point nine percent from downtown. I could have just said forty-three percent, but I'm gonna go with the forty-two point nine. That's his correct stat from downtown. Six of fourteen. That's damn near fifty percent right there. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say it's his uh, you know, three point forty-two. Not nine. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the six of the fourteen because he was seven of fourteen. That's fifty percent. I don't know how, that, that's a messed up stat. I don't know, I ain't even gonna, let me stop rambling on that. He shot 85%, well, 85.7 from the free throw line, making six or seven. Uh, he played 36 minutes and two seconds. And I, like I said, I'm liking what I'm seeing from this player. He is our version of Clay Thompson. Um, our management did a real good job. I mean, people was kind of, come on, we was a little confused when we traded that pick. And then who we traded it for, and we was like, the hell are we doing but like i said in my other videos I'm, i always go back to my views because i ain't trying to be narcissistic but i like to be right sometimes i did have a feeling that um the new york mix was going to draft grimes and i also told you that they was going to draft mcbride and them picks is working out but i'm thinking like will T tom timido pay excuse me will tom timido play these guys enough i mean you see who we just signed all I can say is the Knicks going to have a pretty deep bench, a pretty deep team come next season. And I'm very, very anxious to watch the first game. Matter of fact, preseason, because preseason, he will put the, um, you know, he will put the rookies out there, mesh, mesh them with the, um, or, um, with the veteran and see what type of combination that will work out if he do decide to play anyone. But like I said, too, I know this video is about McBride, I mean, excuse me, about Quentin, Quentin Grimes, but... Tibbs, coach Tibbs, I used to like to call him our super coach, he was very high on McBride. Matter of fact, he pushed for them to draft McBride. 
as I said in my last video, not to be narcissistic. I'm just joking around anyway. But uh, let's see what else I have to say here. Check these stats. Yeah, like I said, nobody knows how much you know the coach is going to play them. But I think he should play them. I think he should. I think he should give them a chance because a lot of other rookies going to be getting their shots. And yo, last night game. Ooh, the Knicks and Cleveland. I got that's a video coming up. I got my video coming. I just wanted to get this video out first, but I was saying for a second, it's like nobody was missing. Matter of fact, in this year's summer league, the games that I watch, these dudes is putting up threes. You know, it's gonna be very, very exciting next year. And a lot of players, I'm talking about veterans, might get their spots taken from these rookies coming in. But with that being said, I want everybody out there to stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and peace.